What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're here with Helion. So I'm starting my series back up because every time there's a major update in the game, you need to wipe your server. So I'm going to be starting up by myself. Mr. Royal may be joining us in a little bit in the series. I don't know when he wants to join. There's a lot of games coming out, a lot of busy things. So I don't know when he'll be back. But uh, I thought I would just, you know, start the series off. I've been doing a lot of guide videos, so I thought a series might be good. What is over there? So there was another update that fixed uh the hell is going on here? Oh. There we go. That fixed match velocity, things like that today. I head towards this. My ship's over there. And they fixed match velocity, so that now works. Uh you tap double shift to do that. But we're gonna get our airlock set up and then I'm gonna go check out those derelict ships um starts aren't as easy anymore I noticed I spawned with like no air filters or anything in my main ship so we're gonna get our airlock done first first thing they did work on the RCS as well to make it a little bit easier let's just head in for a uh yeah I'm gonna keep the flashlight on easier to see bloom seems to be a little weird a little brighter than usual. It might just be my eyes. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of gunner optics lately. I'm trying to fix my eyesight a little bit. All right, so we're going to move up. It's actually backwards. I should be moving down, but just do a full spin. All right. We're going to flip her over because it's the bottom of our space station. Hold left shift. Hold the opposite direction of where I want to spin to. And there we go. All right, so we're going to dock this airlock up today and hopefully get a lot done. I want to kind of get back to where I was originally. Um, I understand things happen. And games are going to restart and stuff like that, so it's not a big deal. Uh, why did the docking just turn off on my space station? hope that doesn't, you know, affect anything. It might be because I can see it. I hope not. Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what it might be? I didn't turn on the power in my ship. Power's probably cycling. What the heck? Um, That was strange. Am I not straight enough? That was very strange. Alright, so we gotta move quickly and get inside because I believe my space station's now moving away from my ship. And I gotta be quick about things, so I wanna make sure I can get the other air suit if it, it's in here. At least check. My arm is kinda in the way. Glitches happen. And as you can see, the ship's kinda like ringing along. Alright, so we're not moving that too far. We're not moving too far away. Alright, that's good. All right, close the outer door, repressurize, and hopefully we'll have the good space shoot. Move over to my ship and go check out the derelict ship. Um, that has a chance of being a module or junk, but we need as much as we can to uh, survive. I got to turn the power on inside the ship as well. Remind me to do that, guys. I'm sure I'm going to forget if I don't do it right now. All right, we did start with a good space suit. Lucky, lucky, lucky. All right. Click up there. Remove my suit. Thanks for letting me know that my suit is not attached. And they did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Something weird's going on. Uh, that's new. Um, not exactly sure what's going on. That was weird as hell. All right. Welcome to, uh, early access. 
I'll probably show the devs that one. That one was weird. Oh my god. Put on the suit and just start running at full speed. 100 miles an hour. Oh my god. Yeah, something's wrong with this suit. <laughs> Alright, we're not putting on that jetpack. Unfortunately, that's what we wanted. But, uh, things don't happen exactly how we want here, I guess. I'm gonna carry it with me. <laughs> That is the weirdest bug I've ever seen in a game. Like, that thing was making me run at a million miles an hour. Alright, it works out in zero G, but okay. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with it, guys. <laughs> it's probably gonna get me killed, but, you know, it happens, it happens. But, uh, we're, we're doing this. We're doing it live on recording, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Not going to stop there. Bugs are not going to hold me down. Don't stop me now. You know, just just like Queen. Because we're having a good time. We're having a good time. All right, I want to go check out those derelict ships. Or derelict whatever's junk. I think they renamed Junk to Derelict, which is nice. Makes it feel like it's worth checking out. I guess the flashlight got removed? I thought they said there's going to be a light now. Okay. Anyways, continue with what we're doing. All right, move in. Ooh. Click too many times. All right, air. All right, the derelict's only 2.9 out and 8.9. Am I dying? Why am I dying? Huh. Okay. All right. We'll be back, guys. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So I decided not to grab the spacesuit on my... Had to restart, basically. I decided not to grab the spacesuit this time around and die. <laughs> I guess that was glitched out spacesuit. I don't know. I really don't know. It's probably one of those bugs, like, the suit is bugged, so it doesn't actually wearing or anything. I don't know. You know, things happen. Things happen. Early access. I don't care about dying. Honestly, it's not a big deal. It would suck if we were later in the game, but they did add a new method that a random ship will respawn every 30 minutes at a station. So if you die, you just sit at the outpost for 30 minutes, and there should be a ship there waiting for you. That or just get off for a while and come back, you know? That's how those that hardcore space games. They're hard. I, I mean, people are saying this game is too hard. I'm like, that's that's a good thing, actually. Don't dumb it down. Dumb down games can get really boring real quick because you get too far. I mean, Ark. I remember Ark at the beginning was fun when we were playing vanilla, and it would take four hours to tame some things. I mean, not anymore. You know, we used to play at 30 FPS. We didn't care. So you know what I mean. You gotta give every game a chance these days. High spirits and hopes. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should stream this game for you guys as I, like, go through the methods. It is a long game. You've got to wait a long time. In a lot of places, warp and stuff, it's, it's slow. It's slow. But that's what kind of makes it good, is I don't have to sit here and do something every second of the game. It, it There's some automated stuff, you know? All right, what I'm going to do is actually uh, replace my jetpack. I'm going to go check out that derelict ship. Um, let me check my warp cores, make sure. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. I will accept our start here. Alright, let's see. Sit down in our chair. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Before we move. Before we move. Please let me out of my chair. 
All right, don't glitch like that. That's not a fun glitch. On our ship. That's our ship. Pretty, pretty as can be. Before we start, very important, power. I don't want to be waiting for my fast and light drive to be starting up forever. There's power this bitch up. Get her going. I mean, it ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. All right. All right, with the new match velocity, we should be able to pull up the things relatively simple. Hold T, scroll, find our target. And our target is out there. Hold shift and just tab W a couple times. We can build up the speed really quickly now. Which is nice. It, it allowed for the game to get a little bit faster pace. But you got to be careful moving at the speed. Because you got to remember when to slow down. Alright, we're 2.3 out. I gotta get within two MS when nearby it. All right, we're gonna start slowing this bitch down. We're definitely gonna have to mine in this this series to get some uh, RCS fuel if we want to move towards these things more often and not warp. It's a good change though. I like the speed thing. They made ships feel heavy, but also usable. All right, all right, slow the fuck down. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, you can slow down way faster than you used to be able to. All right, use the mouse. Link up. I'm raising myself to a uh, match height here. Using C to counter the negative impulse up. All right, we're moving towards it. And these arrows are telling me which way to burn, per se. All right. We're moving in. We're moving in close. I want to point myself towards her. That way we build up our speed, get closer to our, you know, destination here. All right, we're going to hit the, the throttle down. We're perfectly lined up here. There we go. We're going two. So we're going to build up on her, and then we're going to double hit shift, left shift, twice to match velocity. That is what the developer told me personally and is also found in the patch notes. I know we're going slow, but slow wins it. You know what I mean? And I mean, we're building on her. We're doing a lot better than we used to be able to do with a ship. I'll tell you that one. Oh my god, back in the day. Alright, 273. We should be getting visual on whatever it is now. Quick adjustment. Quick adjustments. All right. All right, we're going to we're going to burn a little bit faster. Okay. All right. We're at this pretty baby. All right, what we're looking for. All right, we match velocity. Double hit shift. When it come up, we're within 2 ms. Or now it's not, but we were within 2 ms of it. And let's let's head out. Let's head out. All right, open this bitch up. 
and let's 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 go uh exploring this means uh when royal joins we'll have a lot easier time getting our station and getting our ship kind of to follow our station easy as that I, I like the direction this game is taking i will say that right now i love it it is i am adamant about this game i have played more hours than anybody i know personally in, in this game um and I'm, I'm i like to teach people i mean if you guys need to know how to do something make sure you check out my channel there's plenty of guides on this game if you want to get into it i mean i might open my server up to the public to test multiple people on a server and see you know what i mean or let in a few friends you know current viewers if you guys need a private server I might be opening this bitch up for uh a time being so you guys can experience private servers make sure you guys check out Nitrato. get your own private server going let's check out this derelict ship pretty cool shit right here i mean we're gonna we're gonna scavenge our light our lights out here scavenge scavenge whatever i don't know all the words are very cool Turn our flashlight on. Let's let's head through uh, the ship. What we're looking for is containers, cargo. You know. Let's move through the belly of this beast. All right, that's a door. Does it lead? Ooh, 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 ooh. what I'm saying. Storage. It looks like. Nothing. Hmm. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for in these ships yet. Still learning the game just as much as you guys. Who is this? Is this stuff? That looks like something I could open. Very cool. I've been here to one of these before, but it was more junk looking. Less like a ship, per se. What is this? Like. Is that a big crate on top? <laughs> Not really sure. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with this bitch. Not exactly sure. Alright, we gotta be careful of our oxygen and our RCS fuel. Make sure we don't uh get ourselves kind of stuck out here. Alright, orient myself. Ooh, I see things. I see it. I see what we're looking for. There it is. All right. Cool stuff. Rifles. No spacesuits. Oh, a hacking tool. That's for raiding. Check the drawers. All right, we found a rifle. Which isn't all bad, you know what I mean? That looks like another chest underneath it. So what I'm looking for is like air filters, warp cores, that kind of stuff. Oh, that one's open. Oh, 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 oh. Just when we need an extra jetpack, just in case. All right, so not the most, you know, intriguing looting done here. But not too bad either. I mean, we got a, a jetpack and a hacking tool. I mean, I found some other cool things. I found like a rail gun before in one of these. But they're kind of worth going to. I mean, exploring is a big part of space games. Alright, ship. Where are you at? Bring it back a jetpack. I didn't have it marked. I knew I was going towards it. All right, guys, we're going to head back in. But thank you guys for joining me for the restart of a new season of Helion. I mean, updates are going to happen. They're going to wipe. Usually, I'd restart, but I'd rather intrigue you guys on the beginnings again. And we'll see what we can do with this new match velocity thing. This is gonna, this is life-changing. This means I can play alone when I want to and actually do things. But thank you guys for joining me today. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day, everybody.